Wide Web. So, welcome back to Chewin' in Japan. Uh, for those of you who don't know, my name is John, and this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. Wait a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you all about how I came to Japan and became an exchange student. God, it's horrible. So today's big story is that I went to a food in place. What that means is I went to a sort of glass workshop where I got to build little balls of glass that you can put little trinkets in and it'll make like a sound. So in essence, it's the Japanese equivalent of an American wind chime. If that is American. So here's a little clip of everyone who blew glass that day. Back to the street where we began Feeling as good as lovers can, you know Yeah, we're feeling so good Oh, someone made a soccer ball. <laughs> this is my bowl of glass, which will be my chine. My fooding. It's called a fooding. Dude, I failed. I so failed. This is oh ugly. <laughs> Props to anyone who can guess what this is. Don't judge. I know my wind chime looks like it was done by a five-year-old, but come on, you gotta understand. It's really hard to make glass wind chimes pretty. I mean, everyone else could do it. I just can't. So after blowing the wind chimes, we went to our friend Mika's house to sort of just celebrate uh, after a long day's work. And so what she held for us was a, called a takoyaki party. And takoyaki is awesome. So right now we're at Mika's house and we are making takoyaki for the takoyaki party. There's everyone there. Cool stuff. This is the chef Midori. Your lens is dirty. <laughs> no, yeah, it is. Oh, well. Shocking. Shocking. This is uh, <laughs> Java. Java. <laughs> Hi, my name is Java. Hi. What are you doing with all oh, this footage? Oh, no, it ends up on YouTube. Yeah. Everyone clap for Mika. Thank you. Thank you for the takoyaki party. Speech. So the other cool thing that happened this week is that um, the people in our dorm we had a what we call a nabe party in Japan. A nabe party is when you just kind of like take a giant pot, you throw a bunch of vegetables in, you throw a bunch of meat in. And suddenly you got a whole pot cooking full of 
random stuff, random foods. You let it simmer down and you take pieces of it, you put a lot of sauce in there and you just eat it. That's the worst explanation ever, but you'll get it when you see the video. これ、あの、君しかこれもやっといて。あ、わかった。時間かかるから。イエーイ。あ、あれ、じゃそうだよ。イエーイ。え、もう、あ、あ。オッケー、もう<笑><笑><笑> <laughs> so I just wanted to end this video with something really cool I bought. Um, very cheap, very cheap, not expensive. So mom and dad, don't worry, it didn't cost a lot. Don't get mad. <laughs> I bought a takoyaki making machine. And what it is is takoyaki, for those of you who don't know, is actually my most favorite Japanese food. Takoyaki is a thing that I can just eat over and over again because I like it that much. So I got one of these takoyaki machines and here's a clip of me unboxing it. So, okay cool, you're watching uh, Chu in Japan. My name is John. Today is November 18th, 2010. And uh, I have a nice surprise because my package arrived in the mail. And uh, you can see here, we're gonna unbox it because I've been waiting for this thing from, for two days. Uh, courtesy of Amazon.co.jp uh, So this came for me in the mail and oh it's a beauty, it's a beauty. Um, okay, how do, I, how do I open this? I gotta get something to open this with. Okay, uh, scissors? Oh, I know. Ha! I'm a dangerous man. Uh, ha, I'm a dangerous man with uh, this. This exacto knife I got for a dollar. Okay, so let's open this. And if you don't know what it is yet, you clearly have not been following my interests in my favorite Japanese food, which you are about to find out. So let's uh, oop, let's open this here like that. Hopefully, I'm not damaging anything inside. On the side like this. Oh, I'm such a fail with this. Okay, there we go. One more on the side here, and we're good. This here. Hopefully, I don't forget that before I go to bed. So, what do we have? What do we have? Oh, you're gonna like this. Ooh, or maybe I'm just gonna like this. Okay, I'm gonna open it up here. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Awesome. Open this here. That here. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's upside down. Arrgh. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it feels so nice. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, mom and dad, family, friends, I present to you a takoyakiki. And what a takoyakiki is, it is a takoyaki machine which I will use to grill takoyaki because I like that stuff. My favorite Japanese food. And this here, ooh, it's my takoyaki pick, which I'll use to flip takoyaki. Oh, this is gonna be nice. I should film this eventually, making takoyaki. And uh, my phone just vibrated. For use in Japan only, this probably has to do with the uh, electrical thing because it's not 
made for American or Canadian electricity sockets. Oh, it's not quite thing. Alright, so I'm just gonna slide it out here. I'll probably have to get an adapter for when I bring this back because I really do want to bring this back. Ooh. I don't know what this is. Skip that. Skip that. Okay, one handed flea. Oh my gosh, okay. This is awesome. Ah. One hand is hard, I'm gonna use my foot to help hold it. Oh, there it is. Oh, and there's the plug. I'm just gonna quickly release this, pull it out. This is really hard with one hand. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, got my foot there to hold it down. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's beautiful. It's, it's, it's beautiful. First of all, I'm going to lift this here. Pull this out, like so. Whoa, cool. That's the grill itself. Put this out here. You have your on and off switch right here. Beautiful. It'll light up when it's plugged in. There's a thing to make it nice and hot. Place this here. So. I guess it just fits in, yep. There's a little, uh, what should we call it, uh, casing here that will just fit right nice down top. Um, yeah, it's beautiful, eh? There's a nice plug for you. Oh man, I can't wait to make some nice takoyaki. Cool, so here are some pictures of the takoyaki that I made. So you can see how awesome and how delicious takoyaki really is. I just wanted to end this video off with Happy New Year's guys. I hope you guys didn't party too much, that kind of thing. I hope you guys have a wonderful brand new year, just as much as I'm going to have a wonderful New Year's here, I guess. Um, so as we're getting closer, we're almost catching up to December, and soon I'll be caught up. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to chew it up. I'm going to try to say that more often. And if it's a lame catchphrase, please tell me it's a lame catchphrase so I'll stop saying it. And yeah, have a great weekend, guys. Bye. Hey, hey guys, so look what a Canadian girl made. What, what did the Canadian girl make, huh? That's what I thought. <laughs> That's awesome.